Hi everyone. Here today is I have a good news to share with you guys, especially if you are resident in San Francisco. Today is grand opening for the Ferris wheel in Golden Gate Park. Okay, so I am right here. I'm going to try to capture what is going on and we want to see the grand opening and then gonna share this to you guys. Maybe you guys can come and check out in another day. All right, make sure you stay tuned and check it out with me. Uh, to this moment in time, when there, we thought we were going to be turning the wheel. So, so I'm going to tell you what happened, Madam Mayor. So seven months ago, this wheel was supposed to start turning on April 4th, and we all know what happened. And for seven months, this incredible wheel sat without its gondolas, and as I'm sure the mayor will reflect upon as the city went through struggles and challenges. This wheel sat without its gondolas, about 70% completed, kind of abandoned. But as more and more people came to this park during the pandemic, and this wheel, for those of you who live on a hill someplace looking down into the park, you can see this thing from almost anywhere. And this wheel really became a symbol of hope. And tonight, Mayor, we thought it was going to be a wheel of hope. But nothing in the last seven months has gone according to plan, including tonight. So let me be the first to apologize. We are going to cut a ribbon because this wheel is going to open tomorrow to the public. Woohoo! For some families who are super excited to get on the wheel tonight and to the media who is excited to ride the wheel tonight, we're going to do it another day. <laughs> so, I have a little bit more to say and some thank yous to offer, but let me start uh, with a big thank you to our mayor, who just like you were just now, you have managed the last seven months with grace and perspective and poise and a sense of humor. And for that, we thank you. You have steered us through a horrible, horrible period, a particularly cruddy one for kids and families. And you have always had an eye to this moment. And even though this moment isn't as perfect as we thought it was going to be, Mayor, this moment is still here, which is because of the Mayor's leadership and stewardship and the great work of our public health officials. We are at the point now where we can celebrate Golden Gate Park's 150th anniversary, even just a little. And that is in no small part because of the leadership of our Mayor and the fact that she loves parks and loves families. So let's give it up for her. And let's Thank you so much, Phil, and thank you for the work that you and so many people do to help keep our park so incredible throughout San Francisco. Uh, I just, I, many of you know I grew up in the city, and I lived in my local playground. Uh, Hayward and Hamilton playgrounds in the Western Edition, those were my sanctuary. And every now and then, our teachers would bring us on field trips to Golden Gate Park. We came to Golden Gate Park, slid on the big slide, and was lucky if there, someone left their cardboard behind. We went to the old De Young Museum and the old Academy of Sciences. This band shell has been here forever. And as we celebrate 150 years, now nobody here is 150 years old. But the point is, somebody is? <laughs> You feel that way, but you're not. <laughs> so the point is, our parks stand the test of time. Our parks are what create the magic that makes us love San Francisco so much. And you also have to know, it felt so good to make that announcement that playgrounds are open in San Francisco. <laughs> and I went to a playground in the Lakeview community I want to 
wanted to get on that slide so bad, but it was so many cameras and I had on the dress, so I had to pass. But I will be back. Um, and let me just say, uh, today we got some really, really, really major news. Because of all of you, because of the people of this city, because you were tired of me telling you to wear your mask and socially distance and wash your hands. Well, I was that nagging parent like you all are to your children, like my grandmother was to me. And that nagging paid off because the people of San Francisco followed the direction. And as a result, we are the first major urban city that is now in the yellow in the state of California. We will open more things. That means office space and indoor dining will increase and the things that make us feel like we might be back at normal one day. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco. And I was looking forward to a scary ride on this observation <laughs> wheel. But the fact is, it will be open tomorrow. And a number of other things that we hold dear will begin to open up in San Francisco. And I want to also just remind you, we are still in the midst of a pandemic. Other cities in this country, they're experiencing their third waves. They are taking this for granted. But if I know nothing about the people of this city, we don't leave anything to chance. We want to get back to our lives. We want schools to open. We want businesses to open. We want to save and protect our city for future generations. So we're willing to sacrifice. You all, over the past several months, you have made a tremendous sacrifice. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for what you have done. And I especially want to thank the kids because I know this has been a struggle for them especially. We have a lot of work to do in San Francisco, but the thing that we also know how to do better than anybody else is celebrate. Even when maybe we can't get on the wheel today, we know that tomorrow is coming and the opportunity to ride this wheel and see the entire city of San Francisco and the Bay and Ocean Beach and Knob Hill and all these communities that make up this incredible place that we all know and love. We know that day is coming. So I want to thank each and every one of you for being here, for your support, for your work, for your encouragement. San Francisco, we are a resilient city. We've had challenges in the past, it's not like that anything okay. that I would have ever expected with this pandemic, but we are making it through one day at a time. This observation wheel is just another step in the right direction, bringing light, bringing hope, bringing excitement to our city, and also requiring us to have even more patience than we've ever had before. So thank you all so much for being here and make sure that you get an opportunity to ride in the future. And, and last but not least, today was supposed to be a really special day for the family members of our first responders. So the families who have been using Hamilton Rec Center as a place for their children while they're at the hospitals taking care of those who are sick, this was supposed to be a special day for you. And so we want to just take this okay. moment to give you a round of applause for everything you've done to help you come to the stage. We appreciate you putting your lives on the line to make sure that folks are protected and folks are safe. So thank you all so much again for your patience, and I'll turn it back over to Phil Ginsburg. We will be cutting this ribbon, and we will be back tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. After seven long months, one day more. Um, since we don't get to ride the wheel tonight, how about if I share some fun facts about the wheel to get you very excited about it? And then um, I have a few acknowledgments, and maybe we have a couple of other speakers, so thank you for bearing with us. This wheel here weighs 465,000 pounds, right, Todd? It is 150 feet high, symbolizing the 150th anniversary of Golden Gate Park. So it's nearly as tall as the Arc de Triomphe and the leading tower of Pisa. And it is the tallest wheel ever to be in the music concourse. Some of you think that's a joke, 
But in 1894, for the Midwinter Exposition, we had another Ferris wheel here that was much smaller. We have 36 gondolas, six seats per gondola, 12 minutes per ride, 2.8 miles. The wheel travels per day. And if this, these speeches go on long enough, you'll see the 1 million LED lights that this wheel hosts. So obviously this was supposed to be a, a special moment for Golden Gate Park's 150th, which has really been an extraordinary time. And this, look, this wasn't the celebration that we hoped and planned for, but this park has been there for us, and this park has actually been as busy as it's ever been, but just in ways that maybe we didn't imagine. And I want to acknowledge a few people with us here today and a few people responsible for the 150th celebration. So first of all, uh, joining us today is our Rec and Park Commission President, Mark Buell. <laughs> Joined by Commissioners Pat Anderson and, Joe, and new Commissioner Joe Hallisey. Um, we're also joined, and you're going to hear from another Skyview partner, a second Skyview Managing Partner, Al Mers, who's here, who's still working with the Institute of the Group, I think. Um, but this uh, 150th celebration uh, may not have happened without the great partnership of San Francisco Park Alliance. We've worked together to try to give San Francisco something special this year. And again, it wasn't exactly what we wanted, but you see new bison in the bison paddock. You see a new cool new visitor center. You'll see a brand new tennis center, new park renovations in the botanical garden in the Scanyon Edge. In fact, this year, Right as we sit, there are 150 park projects, park improvement park projects happening. And if you look, if you look right behind you, thanks to the magic of Ben Davis, you'll see the beautifully renovated Spreckles Temple of Music. Uh, that again, if we're here, have the privilege of being here long enough, you'll see it all lit up. So without further ado, let me introduce uh, our partner uh, and director from the San Francisco yeah. Parks. Thanks, Bill. Uh, it's so great to see everyone out here, and you know, partnership is what it's all about. This uh, this 150th anniversary was supposed to be just so amazing. On April 4th, 150,000 people were going to come to the park, celebrate uh, Community Day. Uh, but you know what? That didn't happen. And what happened was we had hundreds of thousands of people come to this park almost monthly to celebrate life and this great city that we have in this park uh, that we have the called Golden Gate thank Park. You. And I want to thank each and every one of you for yeah, everything you do every day to make Golden Gate Park such a special place, to make San Francisco such a special place. And we are so happy to partner with Phil, you, your team. I want to send a special shout out to Lisa Branston and Willing and Archer from Parks Alliance team that worked together to, to make sure that this happened. Yes. Um, and I just, uh, I just want to thank um, really everyone that loves parks, that has seen what parks are for, um, for your human psyche in these last seven months. Because I think there are times like these that you know you understand that parks are real infrastructure and parks are infrastructure we need to invest in. And that's why you should make sure that on November, the election, uh, on election day, you actually vote for Prop A because it's an investment in your park. Thanks, Bill. She's cutting. She's cutting. There you go. Right now, the mayor London Bridge is cutting the ribbon. Wow. Here. Here. All right, welcome to Sky Star Ferris Wheel Golden Gate Park celebration 150 years old. There we are. 
boom thank you guys for watching for more traveling video make sure to like subscribe press on the bell button and i will see you bye bye